Today, we are going to fly a big drone. The VR drone. This six wings bad boy can carry two Instar 360 Pro 2 or Instar 360 Titan top and bottom stabilized with a gimbal in the center of the drone. It can capture immersive 3D 360 VR videos without seeing the drone. As you see right here, no more sky replacement or losing stereo 3D effects. I went up to Portland, Oregon to test fly this machine and interview the creators. Here is Lawrence Dennis. My name is Lawrence Dennis. I'm the owner of ATI. I'm also a partner in VR drones and my job has been to basically build a drone that can fly VR cameras where the drone will fly in a behavior that's ideal for what most pilots want out of a drone and two we get footage that is not needing to be uh, you know stabilized in post um, for either vibration and or movement of the camera. It started out in the early days in like 2010 with uh, immersive media and we we got the bug for VR and drones then and um, ever since then we've tried you know all kinds of different ways of mounting these cameras on an aircraft that give us the resolution and the quality you know that's you know not going to be just your simple off-the-shelf drone with a you know a small little you know VR camera stuck to it. Hi I'm Gavin um, one of the founders of VR drones it's a conglomeration of uh, aerial companies and cinematic virtual reality companies. We're up here in the Mount Hood National Forest flying the VR drone and kind of testing it out and taking it for a spin so to speak and basically it's a three-axis in-air stabilized gimbal system, an aerial system and it can take two cameras. It has a vertical pole that runs through the VR drone and we put a VR camera on the bottom of that pole and at the top of the pole and then as the drone flies and banks, the vertical pole stays vertical and the vibration is minimal. And then we're able to take those two VR cameras and combine them. This is huge as now for the first time ever, we can introduce stabilized 3D 360 footage in VR filmmaking in 8K high quality. What's really advantageous about the VR drone specifically in its design is that because it's balanced, the drone doesn't actually have to fight with the weight of VR cameras that are that are hanging balanced perfectly above and below it. Um, so we're able to get longer flight times. Um, we're able to get smooth footage that has very, very minimal vibration. This thing can fly through narrow channels in high wind. As you see right here, capture the massive rock cliff in a very low angle, which is impossible to capture if you only have one 3D camera hanging in the bottom. The 2D reframed video is not enough to tell you how impressive this fly through. I will post the entire AK 3D video soon to show you this in VR. So, the VR drone sounds amazing. My goal is to find out, can it fly by me, not a professional pilot like Lawrence or Gavin? If I can fly this thing like an Asian driver, then every VR filmmaker can learn to fly it. Driving car, I should be very very careful when driving. Don't talk too much. Let's go. Later. So I just flew the VR drone for the first time right there behind me with the two Instar 3 Pro 2 top and bottom uh, on the ocean. Uh, I have to say it's pretty nerve-wracking uh, for the first time flying such an expensive drone myself but surprisingly the control is very smooth with this professional controller right here. Uh, it's not like flying a DJI drone, uh, it's, it's more responsive, more smooth even we have a little wind in the ocean, uh, it still flies really good. So I think if you know how to fly a regular drone, uh, I think it will be pretty easy to get your hands on for this drone as well. Uh, as long as you do all the pre fly check, pre-production, make sure that everything is ready to go, nothing is wrong, uh, the camera is rolling and synced together, and 
And flying the drone is the easiest part. And I think that this is the only drone give us very smooth 3D stereoscopic video in 8K wow. high resolution. And we can fly literally anywhere. Uh, you don't need to worry about removing the drone, but the drone is gone already. And we can even film the seagull uh, and film everything in close-up detail. And that's pretty epic. Today we are in the Tillamook Air Museum and we just launched the VR drone. The reason we would recommend and the reason that I would use this drone over the, over the traditional methods that VR filmmakers use are a couple of reasons. One is there's a lot of things that are really nice about this drone. In fact, that one, it has landing gear, so you don't have to hand launch. You don't have to build one of those stands that you can rest the drone on so that it can take off. Um, you don't have the pendulum effect. Flying a traditional drone with a camera hanging underneath it, those drones are built to have a standard size gimbal underneath. That's the way that they're built. That's the way that they're balanced. Whereas this drone was specifically designed to carry dual payloads. And then the other reason I think that this is really nice is going back to the camera on top, right? This drone allows you to fly below tree levels. It allows you to fly low where you have things overhead because you're recording dual hemispheres that are allowing you to have unobstructed views of what's above and what's below. And so if you've got a really interesting shot where you have tree cover over you, being able to clone that out normally just doesn't happen, right? It's a lot of work and it's really difficult to do. Whereas this, you can just fly it, right? You've got your camera above, a camera below, and you've got really great footage coming from both cameras to utilize and just get a better quality picture. Plus stability, right? Um, you don't have the issues with the vibration and the movement of the cameras that you get with your traditional drone. It's just a very steady, simple shot. I hope you enjoyed this VR drone review and testing video. We test professional VR gear for filmmakers. To support our efforts, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Together, we push the filmmaking boundary. See you next time, my friends.